Slayer Exciter that supposedly generates very high voltage. The circuit is very very simple. In this video, with the link provided below, the guy talks about how to make this overly simple circuit, which is obviously a fake. If you listen closely, the secondary coil, you will hear that the guy actually has an accent. Of course, you can never trust a guy with an accent. Is the primary with? Also, the bulbs light up too bright for such a puny circuit. This circuit is all over the web, and people make it sound like it actually works. But a quick analysis of the circuit shows that this circuit relies on a feedback from the secondary winding of the transformer. But the other end of the secondary is not connected anywhere. It's open circuit and can't affect the transistor. But some people so firmly believe in this circuit that I just had to make it to put an end to this. Here is a transformer I made which I wanted to use to make a Tesla coil. I made my simple circuit connected here and I'll turn it on with my power supply. Here I turn on the supply. See? No sparks. There is not even a high voltage here that I can feel. So it's impossible for this to excite a fluorescent bulb. What the Was I wrong? Well, I'm never wrong. Well, you are pretty much always wrong. You're pretty much always shut up! Well, I guess I have to apologize to my friend. I'm sorry. To my defense, he did have an accent. After internet and I pour our brains out, we realize there was in fact an important component missing from the schematics, which is this parasitic capacitor that exists naturally between the secondary winding to ground. It is an extremely small capacitance, but is enough to close the loop and make the circuit oscillate. So this circuit can generate very high voltage in order of thousands of volts that can excite the fluorescent material inside the bulb. But before you start babbling about that, hey, there is high voltage and you touch it and you don't die, so it must be the current that kills, not the voltage. I should say, please stop being a moron. Volt jolts, current kills, who came up with that crap? Yes, there is high voltage here now, but it can only deliver very little current, which means that it cannot maintain its high voltage if more current is drawn. See, if I bring my hand close to the coil, even without touching it, some of the energy is absorbed by my hand, which causes the voltage to drop, so much that if I touch the coil, the voltage drops to zero from thousands of volts and the light goes out. As I measured, this circuit has a resonance frequency of 1 MHz. Now I want to boost this circuit. Here is my new circuit, which is pretty much the same concept, but beefed up. Please see my website for more details. Let's try the beefed up circuit now. Wow, much bright, most satisfaction. The light is actually getting warm. This is what's called wireless power. The power supply is spending energy to turn on the light. But if I bring my hand between the coil and the light, my hand blocks and absorbs some of the energy and the light goes dim. Sh am I getting cancer from this? If I bring my finger close, there are some sparks that burn my finger, but they don't have any short-term effect. In general, it's better to isolate yourself from harmful electrical signals. Now I bring a ground wire close. See, because of the very high voltage, the charges start flying from the tip of the wire. When I touch the piece of wood with the ground wire, the charges find their way through the wood. And here's a napkin on the secondary winding. This circuit can be further beefed up. 